Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. We're sitting down. I'm calling this Caitlin Nolan style because I'm just like sitting in front of my couch, which I feel like she always does. And I honestly just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about all the million little life updates going on because there's always new people here. There's so much going on in my life. And I just figured we'd sit down and have a little coffee chat with Carter. I have a little collagen vanilla latte here. This might be a long one. So grab your coffee, your wine, depending on the time of day you're watching this, sit down. Let's catch up on life uh, because I feel like I'm getting the same comments and DMs over and over again. And I understand why because I put my life on the internet and y'all want to know what's going on. And so I wrote down everything on my phone like that I wanted to talk about today. And I'll try and put timestamps in there for you. Let's just sit and chat and ramble and talk about what's going on in life. So first thing we're going to talk about is a lot of people wanted to know how grad school was going since I haven't talked about it a lot. And grad school is going really good. I'm in a really good routine now. I don't know. I feel like I kind of have a little imposter syndrome with grad school that like I feel like people just don't care and don't want to see it. Um, but I know you guys do. So I'm really going to try and film a bit more. I feel like the thing with grad school is that I am so I just want to get things done that I don't really want to pull my camera out and film if that makes any sense but it's going really good a lot better than undergrad um i'm i don't ever want this to come across as bragging but i didn't have the best grades in undergrad until my last three years my first two years were pretty crappy but grad school's been going really good right now I'm about a 3.0 which is probably my highest gpa ever which i know for some people it's probably not that high but for me it's really exciting so it's been going really good I'm there hasn't really been much to like vlog with grad school because it is just a lot of like getting papers and discussion boards um i have had a few tests but i am gonna try really hard this month to get a grad school diaries out for you guys just to kind of like see how it's going but i feel like grad school is one of those things that like i just commit like a half a day to i get everything done and then like i move on you know what i I mean but it's going really good i haven't decided if i'm going to take a class this summer or not yet um i'm still just trying to decide if i want to graduate like in the winter or next spring um so that's what i'm trying to figure out right now but it's going really good i'm taking two classes that seems to make a good workload for me i don't know if i could handle more honestly um but yeah grad school is going really really great so far if you guys are new here i'm in a one-year grad school program for um healthcare management so next is my new job my new job is really going good i'm overwhelmed but in the best way possible it is a huge learning curve and i think we need to stop giving the word overwhelmed such a negative meaning because it doesn't always have to be negative like i'm overwhelmed with good emotions right now i'm overwhelmed in a good way because i'm learning so much i'm filling up my brain with so much new knowledge and it's been a really big learning curve but everyone i work with is great um i went into the office the other day and it was nice because i have my own office which is like crazy and it's definitely the job for me it's very independent no one is micromanaging me no one's really checking in on me in a bat like people check in on me obviously like my manager checks in on me the doctor i work for checks in on me but i just mean i'm not checked in on like multiple times a day which i didn't really enjoy um so it's going really really good so far and i'm just trying to find a bit of a routine and kind of still get into the swing of things i've really weirdly been loving using OneNote, which is i think attached to like the microsoft family and so um i've just been trying to get into a good routine before i kind of start filming more work week videos but so far i really do love it it's really the challenge that i needed pa school i didn't want to address this uh, because i'm really embarrassed but it's life i'm an open book and it just wasn't meant to be but if you guys are new here, one of my biggest dreams in life is to go to PA school or just do something hands-on in the healthcare system. It's really where I belong. I miss patient interaction every day, even though I'm like learning so much at my new job. And like, if I were to see where I am in 10 years from now, I would hope it would be either as like a clinical manager or like a PA or I don't really know. Honestly, nursing is not off the table for me, to be quite honest with you guys. So I applied to PA school this fall. Um, and then after submitting my application and kind of all that stuff, I realized that my GPA, like I hit the minimum GPA to apply, but it wasn't competitive enough, which is why I decided to do grad school. And I didn't really think through my timeline at all because grad school is a year. And if I got into PA school, I would start in the fall, but I didn't want to like drop out of grad school. Like I really wanted to finish it. It wasn't like undergrad how I was like, you know, if I got into PA school during undergrad, I would have said like F undergrad, like I'll just go to PA school, right? But grad school is something I really wanted to do in life. So 
I had to like make the call that like if I got into PA school, I would have had to drop out of grad school with like three classes left or defer my application, I guess. But I don't even know if Canadian schools do deferred um, admitting. So anyways, long story short, um, I technically like deferred my application. I just like emailed them and said that I'm going to wait till next year to apply. And I don't know why part of me is like kind of embarrassed about it because I was so excited about it. And I still am. I do plan on applying to PA school. Um, I will apply next cycle because I will have two semesters of grades. And uh, yeah, but I did not go through with my application this year. I just think it's in my best decision, even though I spent the $200. Like that's just life. Um, I feel like I made the smart decision to wait. And yeah, a lot of you guys were asking where I was applying and I'll only apply to U of T because Matt and I really have no desire in moving right now. Um, U of T is a distance learning program. I would have to go to Toronto for like a few weeks each semester, but that is like my dream school. A lot of you guys asked if I'd consider going to PA school in the States and absolutely not just for the tuition reasons um, I would way rather spend like 30,000 than a hundred obviously nursing is not necessarily off the table for me <laughs> even though like I feel like nurses are just not paid adequately in Canada I actually put a hold on their accelerated BSN program which is their two-year bachelor's of nursing if you have a previous bachelor's degree um, which is very common in the States so I'm kind of waiting to see if that even comes back um, because like I said we have no desire to move for school you know what I mean like we both have good jobs here and we have a house and yeah so nursing's not necessarily off the table because if I did end up in an ideal world getting into nursing school going to nursing school for two years and then finishing um I would work here for a year and then Matt and I would travel nurse together which I, I'm still trying to decide between the two but I think once I like I apply like the universe will tell me what they what it wants me to do if that makes any sense Okay, so that's PA school for you guys. Stella, do you have any updates for them? So it says, I want a sister. I want a sister so bad. You want a puppy? Your mom and dad need to get you a puppy, huh? I know. That's actually a question I get a lot is when Matt and I are going to get another dog. Oh, look at her. She's like, mom, do you want a dog? Do you want mommy and dad to get you a puppy? Oh my God, you should see how fast her tail is wagging right now. Asked all the time when we're going to get a second dog and we honestly have no idea we definitely want to wait till at least we're done our Disney trip because after a Disney trip, I honestly don't think we're going to travel anymore this year. Like obviously never say never, but our priority really is putting our money into the home renovations. So I have no idea. I keep saying I want to get Stella a dog for her birthday, which is in June, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'd be okay getting one whenever. I don't really know what Matt's timeline is. We definitely know that we want to get a second dog and we want to get it while Stella's young and can like enjoy the company. So I'd say within the next year, we'll have a second dog. That's like my timeline. I get asked that all the time. Because you have to kind of find someone that's willing to watch two dogs if you go on vacation. And finding someone to watch one dog is already really hard for us. So that's a big thing for us to consider. But yes, we do plan on getting another dog, I'd say probably within a year um, or two. But I'd say maybe within a year, I'm pretty confident. Part-time job, if you guys are new here, I know it's very complicated. I'm gonna try and explain it really easily. So I previously was working a full-time corporate job in one hospital, and then I was working at PRN in another hospital. You guys always get asked like how I can work PRN. It's very common in the healthcare field to work PRN, um, which basically just means you work as needed. You don't have to pick up any shifts you they don't owe you any shifts like you just literally work whenever you want to whether it's once a month twice a month once a year like whatever still have that prn job i'm just someone who believes like i need to keep my foot in the door in as many places as possible and i enjoy it and it's nice knowing that like if i want extra money it's there you know what i mean um obviously my priority is youtube and my new job right now which i don't know what to call my new job is it a corporate job it is a corporate job but it's part-time it's not anyways i'm getting ahead of myself but I have been toying with the idea of trying something new. If you guys don't know, I do have my CNA license um, and I never got to use it because I graduated undergrad and then, you know, got a full-time job. And when I had originally planned on getting it to work as a CNA for a bit while getting my hours for PA school, but I already have my hours. Um, so I am toying with the idea of going to work as a... PRN CNA somewhere which you guys don't know a CNA is like a certified nurse assistant in Canada It's either called like a PSW an HCA um, In the States some places call them techs but I do really miss having patient experience and 
I don't want to lose my patient skills working a corporate job, if that makes sense, while waiting to get into PA school or figuring out my next step. Um, there's so much opportunity in the hospital I currently work at part time. They're always looking for CNAs. I would just really love to get different experience. It is a peds hospital, so I would love to get experience in different places, and I really miss that side of things. I'm not gonna lie, part of me feels a pressure to do it because <clears throat> the biggest hate comment I get is the bullying. I've already addressed this, but the healthcare bullying I get is like so unreal. It makes me want to quit YouTube some days. And I would be lying if I said I didn't feel... Wait, let me rephrase that. I'd be lying if I said I didn't view myself as less than because I work a corporate healthcare job. I really beat myself up about it. I love it. I love what I do, but I definitely feel like I could be doing more, that I should be doing more. It's in the back of my head all the time that like you need to be with patients. Like that's what you need to do. And I just miss patient interaction, but I don't want to do that as like a full-time job. So I am toying with the idea of just, you know, getting my clinical skills back and doing that. I could go like work in the float team at our peds hospital, which would be great because I could go everywhere and just learn a lot. I don't have any peds experience, so I think it would be really good just before going to PA school to have that. So I've been toying with that idea a lot lately. So I guess stay tuned for that and see if that happens. It's something that like makes me really excited and like giddy. It's kind of what's going on with my part-time job. I haven't really worked a lot lately. Like I work on Monday night, but I haven't picked up a lot lately because <clears throat> I actually get screwed over really bad on my taxes from having a part-time job. I don't think I've ever talked about this, but YouTube is one thing because I put aside money. But having a part-time job, I went from owing nothing on my taxes to owing $2,500. So it's technically costing me to have a part-time job. So I'm just trying to figure out kind of what I'm doing. Kind of what I envision my channel being. I really miss doing work content. Um, obviously, I think a lot of you guys can figure out what happened. I actually ended up privating a lot of my work videos from last year. Just I just was like really fed up. But I want to start making work content again. I really miss it. But part of me, like I filmed a lot of work vlogs last month that I've ended up deleting because I think part of me is like no one wants to see this if they can't actively see me work. Like, you know, tapping on my keyboard like a time lapse or something. But let me know if you guys like still want to see work videos. I think I would do more work weeks, but I just, I don't know. Part of me gets like really discouraged because I can't obviously like, film at work. I work in a hospital and stuff. So I'm just kind of struggling with how to reintegrate the work vlogs back while also like, you know, keeping my privacy and like my security the number one priority. So I do want to start doing more work week videos. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how. Really lately been just, if I want to vlog, I pick up my camera and vlog. Like, yes, I plan out my videos for brands and stuff, but I just love picking up my camera and taking you guys through my day. Those are my favorite vlogs to watch. I love watching Rachel Racky. She's like a huge source of inspiration for me in terms of just like picking up her camera and just like vlogging her day. And I enjoy that a lot more than like the structured videos because Matt and I can like look back on a weekend vlog and be like oh we did this that was so fun or like oh we teased each other and that was so funny like stuff like that so I really have just been enjoying just vlogging I love the book content I've been loving the finance content there's a ton of spring content coming I'm gonna have a whole spring reset week in March because the first day of spring is March 20th so I've already planned it out it's gonna be like a week of spring resetting I have so many fun videos planned I'm really excited and I'm just trying to navigate this new lifestyle kind of phase instead of being so much like a work heavy content creator. So yeah, there's gonna be so many book videos, finance content, lifestyle content. I just really have been enjoying picking up the camera and just vlogging. And I hope you guys are too. But as always, leave me video suggestions down below. I always write them down on my notes and you know, when I need a video, I'll kind of pick one of your ideas. Okay, the next one I wanted to talk about was home renovations. I'm not gonna lie, buying a house that needs to be renovated can be really discouraging. I think especially since I put my life on the internet, it's harder because if I wasn't vlogging, I wouldn't care. But like when I vlog and I look at our house sometimes, I'm like, oh my God, this is so ugly. Like I hate vlogging in our kitchen. I hate it so much. But Rome wasn't built in a day. Good things take time. But I am definitely at a point where I'm frustrated with everything in this house. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like I tell Matt all the time, like I'm so frustrated and I just want to renovate but money doesn't grow on trees and that's not even the issue the money part's not the issue it's just everything is so backed up and there's such supply issues and yeah but 
I know a lot of you guys wanted an updated like walk through the house with our home renovation plans and I'm gonna do that in the next week or so just in like a life lately vlog or a day in my life so look out for that I'm staring right now at our fucking green carpet and I'm just like so over it we have like patches everywhere because a lot of this is just riding on like doing flooring and stuff so walk you guys kind of through our plan right now so we're just trying to get through March and then we go to Disney and then once we come back, it's like full force home renovations We just obviously didn't want to like start anything before our trip. We want to enjoy our trip but When we get home from Disney, we are going to tackle the main floor flooring So we have green carpet and fucking ugly beige tile and I'm so excited to get rid of it Because I think it'll make such a big difference like our literal carpet is green It's literally green and it has red stains everywhere. It's just I can't so anyways our plan is to do the whole main floor flooring and then put in the work order for our kitchen. We just like didn't want to do it now and have like a $10,000 credit card bill before we went to Disney, you know what I mean? Um, we're also waiting too because Doug Ford, the premier of Ontario announced that nurses will be getting a $5,000 bonus. So we put that towards our kitchen and we're kind of waiting to hear when we're gonna get that or when Matt's gonna get it, not us, but I guess us. Um, so flooring, we're gonna put the work order in for the kitchen and then it, it honestly just depends on when the cabinets and stuff are all ready luckily we have a ton of family that wants to help us which is amazing um so we'll wait and see when the kitchen like comes honestly like thank goodness we have the room in the basement to store it and then we're gonna paint the main floor all in one go so we'll probably do the flooring and then paint and then do the kitchen i think we'll feel so much better once the kitchen is done and then after that is done, that'll be our main thing for the year. And then, um, just a lot of like, once the house, the main floor is painted, I will be able to like envision better what I want. And I want our house to feel like a home. So once it's painted, I think we'll have a better idea of what we want to do. Like we'll do small stuff, maybe like uh, finishing the entryway, um, maybe considering getting a new couch, um, little things like, you know, side tables in our bedroom, etc. But I'll walk you guys through the home renovations and stuff in a vlog coming up. But once we get done the kitchen and the flooring on the main floor, we'll be done with major stuff. And then next year we're going to focus on the bathrooms. It'll just be like little things. So like we're really trying right now to get a new dining table set. That's like something we're really working on Facebook Marketplace. But everything just goes so fast. And we're super excited. I'm so excited to go on vacation. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, those are kind of like my updates. Um, another one I get all the time, of course, is like, when's Mac going to propose? And blah 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 and I don't really know we talk about it a lot we're very open about it I've said this in a previous Q&A or like just chatty vlog that I don't really find it necessarily like attractive when females are like on their significant others ass to propose like I just don't think that's classy in my opinion I don't like like bugging someone I don't think that's cute when you're like bugging someone and asking every day like when are you gonna propose when are you gonna propose but Matt and I talk about it very openly it's not like a subject that's like taboo or we like we walk around like when we at the beginning of the year were talking about like our goals for the year I had said that like oh like one of my goals like not a goal that sounds weird but I would be like happy if we got engaged this year um but we'll see there's like a lot going on in my personal life right now with family and stuff that's kind of I wouldn't say it's like backing it up but it's kind of probably putting a pause on the whole like engagement wedding situation if you will so yeah we'll have to see we talk about it like a lot like we talk about our wedding all the time uh, like the other day in our car i was like showing him this picture on pinterest of what i liked and i was like oh my god i want to do this and he was like yeah and i want to do this like we talk about it a lot like we know it's gonna happen um, ideally i would really like if matt proposed this year or at the beginning of next year only because i really want to get married on our dating anniversary which is september 22nd and next year it falls on a friday and the year after it falls on a saturday so yeah that's that's like the only like rush um a lot of people were asking if they thought it was gonna happen in disney and i don't think it will like i'm 99 percent sure it won't i would love if it did don't get me wrong a disney proposal is like my dream but i'm not like going into it with like the hope it's gonna happen you know what i mean like on the like really really small chance it does like amazing matt knows i'll say yes but i really highly doubt it will 99 percent sure it won't um but yeah so those are kind of all the life updates. I really just like wanted to sit down and have like a chatty vlog with you guys because I get a lot of the same questions. So I hope that answered it. If it didn't, let me know down below. I'm more than happy to answer it. If you guys are new here, hopefully you got to get to know me a bit better. I had to say that slow because it's like a bit of a tongue twister. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, I just realized I actually didn't touch on anything to do with health and fitness, half marathon, 
all that kind of stuff because it's coming up in an upcoming health vlog i know i'll get that question because i get asked all the time about when's your first in-person half marathon are you gonna do a full marathon this year all that i'm gonna answer that in an upcoming health vlog so be on the lookout for that but i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll talk to you guys next time bye